The concept of ghosts, spirits, and entities is deeply ingrained in human history and culture, manifesting in myriad forms across different societies and belief systems. Let's explore suggestions from various spiritualists and get a grasp of varying cultural perspectives, including Freemasonry and other traditions. With respect to ancient civilizations, the ancient Egyptians believed in the Ka, or life force, and Ba, personality, which would leave the body at death. Proper rituals were essential for ensuring these spiritual aspects could transition to the afterlife. The Greeks and Romans, on the other hand, believed in shades or spirits of the dead, often residing in the underworld. The Greek concept of the psyche was the soul that lived on after death. In regard to the Abrahamic religions, the Jewish tradition has a concept of Ruach, or spirit, and Neshama, soul. The Kabbalistic tradition speaks of spirits and the afterlife in more esoteric terms, including the idea of reincarnation or Gilgul. In Christianity, the soul is believed to persist after death, either going to heaven, hell, or purgatory. Ghosts in Christian thought often appear as souls in limbo or as manifestations of unfinished business on earth. Islamic tradition includes the concept of Ru, spirit, and jinns, supernatural beings made of smokeless fire. Ghosts or spirits are often considered to be jinns, or the souls of the dead who are in a transitional state. In terms of Eastern religions and philosophies, the soul, Atman in Hinduism, is eternal and undergoes reincarnation. Spirits, Bhutas, are often considered to be souls that have not yet moved on to the next stage of existence. Similar to Hinduism, Buddhism talks about the cycle of rebirth, samsara. Spirits may be manifestations of those who have not achieved nirvana and are stuck in the cycle of rebirth. In Japan, Shintoism venerates kami, or spirits, that inhabit natural objects and ancestors. Ghosts, or yurei, are believed to be spirits of those who have died with unsettled matters. In relation to indigenous and folk beliefs, many African cultures believe in ancestors' spirits, who guide and protect the living. Rituals and offerings are essential to keep these spirits appeased. As far as Native Americans, various tribes have different views, but many believe in the presence of spirits in nature and the existence of ancestors' spirits who communicate with the living. Celtic and Norse traditions included beliefs in an afterlife where spirits of warriors and ancestors dwell. Ghosts and spirits often appear in sagas and mythologies as both protectors and harbingers. As regards the occult and esoteric traditions, Freemasonry while not centrally focused on ghosts and spirits, incorporates esoteric traditions 
and symbols that allude to the eternal nature of the soul and the importance of moral and spiritual development. On another front, spiritualism, emerging in the 19th century, is the belief that spirits of the dead can communicate with the living, usually through mediums. This movement gained traction with the Fox systems and others in America and Europe. And finally, modern interpretations such as contemporary New Age spirituality often synthesizes elements from various traditions, promoting ideas of spirit guides, reincarnation, and the energetic nature of the soul. In conclusion, the idea of ghosts, spirits, and entities reflects a universal human concern with death and the afterlife, taking on different forms and meanings across cultures and historical periods. From the ancestor spirits in African traditions, to the souls navigating the underworld in Greek mythology, these beliefs provide a way for societies to cope with mortality, maintain moral order, and connect the living with the spiritual realm.